Yo, what's up guys, it's Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're gonna talk about what I believe is one of the most important things when it comes to setting up your Shopify store and that is choosing your niche. Sweet, now before we get into exactly, you know, the mechanics of, you know, how you actually pick a niche and all this different stuff, I do want to define some terms because a lot of people are confused. A lot of people, you know, they say that they want to get in the bracelet niche, they want to get in the necklace niche, they want to get, a lot of people are saying that they want to get into the watch niche and they're like, yeah, it's a huge niche, you know, there's a ton of money to be made, which is true, you know, you got companies like Rolex, you got companies like Movement, but in reality, it's not actually a niche, it's a product. You sell a product, but the product is being sold in a niche. So if you're not a brand like Rolex or, you know, Movement that has some sort of, you know, track record and you have people that are uh, buying it on a consistent basis and obviously, you know, buying for your validity, as a company, it makes it tough. So if you're gonna go sell just like a generic watch, and not generic by um, you know quality-wise, but generic in terms of like maybe there's there's nothing necessarily special about it. It's just like any other watch, and you're trying to sell it to say a men's fashion page. I mean, it's it's hard to make a sale because there's nothing that kind of stands out and resonates with the the customer. Whereas if you were to sell a watch that say has vegan leather. All right, that's something that you could actually sell to a vegan page. You could sell to a yoga page because there's a marketing angle. There's something that resonates with the customer that you'd actually be able to make a sale much easier than if it was just generic, if that makes sense. So how do you actually go out and find these, these niches and, uh, and stuff, especially on Instagram? That's how I personally do it. Well, there's a bunch of ways. There's, um, first of all, first and foremost, is you just wanna see what is going on on Instagram. What are people posting about? What are people liking? What are people commenting on? And generally, as a rule of thumb, that is pages that have something to do with fitness, have something to do with photography, lifestyle. You know, you got National Geographic. Um, you got like bodybuilding.com is a huge page. Um, you got all kinds of pages that have to do with like dogs and cats and, and pet products. These are all, what's called an evergreen niche. It's something that's been around for a long time, has been around for a long time, and will be around for a long time because they're making a lot of money consistently in the niche. Um, so these are evergreen niches. However, you can't make money in other niches as well. These are just ones that are, have sort of a proven track record. Now, the goal here is not to necessarily go in and just go into the health and wellness niche. That's not necessarily the goal. The goal is to find sub niches underneath that. So you got the health and wellness, right? But underneath that, you have things like yoga, you got things like you know Pilates, you got diet and nutrition, you got veganism, you got bodybuilding, you got you know all kinds of CrossFit, you got all kinds of different things within that certain you know health and wellness niche that you can jump into. So if you're saying say um, if you're selling like a blender bottle, right? Instead of selling that to say a yoga page where yeah they know what a blender bottle is maybe but most of them are more interested in like you know natural health and just uh you know yoga and, and natural healing and stuff they might not resonate it as much as if you were to sell that same product the same blender bottle same marketing same website same everything you didn't change a thing except you promote it on bodybuilding website where bodybuilding instagram page where they are consistently taking supplements consistently drinking protein they know what's up and they, you know, if the product is cool enough, they'll probably end up buying it, you know, considering, you know, all the other factors are there. You're probably gonna make a lot more sales selling it to a bodybuilding page than if you're selling it to a yoga page, just because your product and your audience is matching. And that's how you can know. <clears throat> now, both niches are good, both niches make money. It's just a matter of getting your product to match. Okay, so that's how you can find some niches on Instagram. Um, the last thing that you wanna do is you really wanna make sure that the niche that you find actually has engagement, actually has people surrounding it. So say, uh, this is a prime example, right? So sharks, there's Shark Week on Discovery Channel. It's one of the most popular shows or most popular weeks in the entire television calendar year, right? People are always watching Shark Week, they're looking forward to it, it's advertised like crazy on Discovery Channel. People love sharks, right? So you go on Instagram and you're like, yo, people love sharks, let me just sell like a shark bracelet or like a shark tooth necklace or like, you know, something that has to do with sharks but you don't do any research on it, right? You just do it off of the fact that, oh, people probably like sharks because Shark Week's a thing. But you go on Instagram, and I don't know if this is the case, I haven't done a ton of research on it, but you go on Instagram and you're like, yo, there's only maybe 10 pages that have anything to do with sharks and they're all less than 30,000 followers and they all have like, you know, 1% engagement. To me, that says, you know, 
yeah, there, maybe a lot of people like sharks, but on Instagram specifically, it's not gonna be the greatest market because there's not large pages, there's not a lot of large pages, and those pages that are like somewhat big are not getting great engagement. Now, if you were to go on and you know search shark pages or whatever, and you saw that every single page, or not every single, but a lot of pages were above 100,000, were getting like two to 3% engagement, maybe up to like 6% engagement, and they were killing it, right? And there was tons of people, tons of engagement all over the place. To me, that says, whoa, that's a good niche. People are liking it. Let me jump in and see if I can, you know, get into this niche as well. So that's one of the biggest factors when it comes into, are there people that are actively in that and engaging with content that is in that niche? And that is one of the most important factors when it comes to actually deciding uh, something that's actually gonna make you money. Cause you can get into something, you can get into anything, but something that's gonna make you money has to have those factors. Now to make it easier for you guys, I do want to help you. So <clears throat> I actually made a little PDF which you can check out in the link below. Uh, you can just download it and it actually has a bunch of niches that I have found on Instagram. And I haven't tested all of them, but I've just seen them and I've seen that they get like decent engagement and there's a lot of stuff out there. So it gives you sort of like a starting point to start you know, finding niches yourself. Now I wouldn't just take my word for it. I'd actually you know, say I have the shark niche. Let's just go with that example. And that's on the list, right? I would actually go into Instagram and like literally type in shark, type in ocean wildlife, type in whatever it is, and make sure that there's, like I said, 15 to 20 pages that have good engagement and large followings that have to do with sharks. If there's less than that, maybe don't you know, go with that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just, just do that. Like I said, link in the description below. It's absolutely free. Just wanna help you guys out. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. As well as hit the like if you liked it. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, um, and what you wanna see in the future. Because like I said, I want to help you guys. I want to meet you where you're at and hopefully get you guys over to, uh, you know, $100 a day plus. Because honestly, it's, it's not that difficult, um, you know, once you know the secrets to, to doing that. And I want to help you guys out and let you know. So, but if I don't know, then I can't help you. So let me know in the comments below what you want and I will see you tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh, yeah. I need